life is meant to be lived. And on this show, I'm going to tell you crazy stories of my life. I'm your boy, Mush King. You already know, I got a story to tell. Hey, what it is, boys and girls. It's your boy, Mush King, and I'm back for an all-new episode of A Story to Tell right here on the CWF Network, where we bring you big content in small pieces. What is good, everybody? Welcome to Podmas Day 8. I know I'm a little behind. It's day 13, but, you know, I tried to do an episode every day. But as I told you, life be life in, and, you know, I just be trying to push forward and whatnot. But today on, um, you know, on this daily episode of A Story to Tell, um, first of all, before I get into that, like, I cannot wait. I cannot wait until this little promise thing is over. I did want to commit to it, but she it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. And I also, you know, because I am going through a lot behind the scenes, it'd be hard for me to focus sometimes but you know i'm gonna do the best that i can and continue to keep putting out content because i have seen the growth that it is helping me do and you know i've watched the youtubers and i heard them say like oh we do you know vlogmas because like it pushes the check to be bigger in january and whatnot and i'm trying to get into the monetization zone and whatnot so you know, I'm doing all the work that I can to make sure that the platform is growing. As I said on one of the past episodes, like this is our best year yet of like, you know, just listens, people listening to the show, the podcast or whatever. And I'm just appreciative for everything because listen, this year, this past year with the network has just been a whirlwind of just like emotions and ups and downs and highs and lows. Like I remember starting off this year on a good note, like with three shows, like four, four shows, I believe. And then it just trickled down to three and then trickled down to two. And so, you know, I just been trying to think of a new way to reinvent the wheel, you know, like a new way to jazz it up, put some, put some new tread on, on these wheels and whatnot. So that's what I've been working on, um, you know, for the past couple days and whatnot. But, um, which brings me to just thinking about my creative, journey like I know that I had talked about this probably in one of the I think pop miss day one but like my determination to get like this media stuff like off the ground and and the crazy thing is and I say like off the ground because it's just like sometimes I feel like I'm just starting out and I've been doing this a really long time and like you know for a long time I was the modest creative like oh you know thank you guys. Thank you. I know my work is good, but I don't want to try to, because you know what it is. Like a lot of times, like people put me in this, you think you know everything box. And that's a hard place to be like, and I tell people all the time, I don't know everything. I just know what I know. And I never speak on things that I don't know. Like I've always said that you will never hear me just talking out the ass about something random. So, you know, I just never understand what people say that, but I've always been the modest guy when it came to my creative abilities. And for, I know for a fact that I can do some of these jobs that I'm reading about, like I'm reading the description and it's just like, (laughs) I'm getting, you know, I'm getting these rejection emails that I didn't get the job. And it's just like, bro, I run a whole entire network by myself for the past eight years. Like, how do I not fucking qualify for this? Like I didn't found hoes, started shows, created shows, edited shows, produced shows, produced specials, like writing a scripted podcast. I have all the elements of, you know, what I should have. And yet, and still, like I said, I'm like not getting these positions. So I've just really been in a space to try to create my own and just continue to keep pushing through. And, you know, it's always good to do that because yesterday I was sitting here and I got a random message um, from someone stating that they were trying to start a podcast and, you know, they were doing research as to people who can help them. And my name kept coming up. Like I found that to be like one of the most shocking things. I was like, really? My name keeps coming up. Like who the hell are you talking to? But, um, I was telling a friend yesterday that I have to kind of get out of that mindset of like, who told you about me? Because it's just like, uh, everybody should have told you about me because it's like, I've been doing this long enough and I've been, you know, chatting in the little chat groups, on Facebook and, you know, putting my name and putting my, um, my skills out there for people to, you know, to eat it up. So it's only right that finally my name is, is coming up into things. And so, you know, now when I get on phone calls and I get on, you know, meetings, I'm able to just sit there. Like, I don't get nervous when it talk, when it comes to talking about like this podcasting stuff. Like now when it's like my nine to five, like, I be in these meetings like I don't really know what you're talking about because it's like I really don't care like I really don't care about that like I want to be able to expand in my media route um 
And yeah, that's that's just how I woke up feeling today. Like, let me tell you something. When life is rough, like for me, morning time is probably like that early morning at 6, 7 a.m. time is probably like the worst for me because I sit there and I just remember like, because, you know, with me with going to sleep, I just be like, oh, sleep. And then you wake up and, and then it's like it's still here. So it's like, hmm. So I've just been doing my um, little things to help get over um, and, and pass this little rut that I'm in currently. But let me tell y'all something. I do want to tell y'all something like the story that I am going to have after this experience is going to be nuts because like I can see it now and there's a lot of things that I want to discuss. There's a lot of jokes that I have about the situation that I'm in now, but I'm going to wait until, you know, until I slide past this and get back into into my good graces in order to share this story because let me tell you, it is going to be a story for the masses. But let's talk a little bit of music. So I know SZA's album came out and I have not listened to it yet. Do you like it? Is it good? I have posted the little pause or play um, on TikTok and I'm posting on YouTube today. So go ahead and comment or vote on TikTok and Instagram, if you're on Instagram, yo, let me tell y'all something. Finally, so finally, y'all, I started the network. I started conversations with friends even before the network in like 2014. So I've had the Instagram for the network for mad long, just posting and posting and posting. And then when the network came around, I was posting and posting and posting. And I'm just like, so recently, the past maybe month or two, I haven't really posted on the Instagram because I'm like, bro, I'm focusing on TikTok, trying to grow the TikTok and whatnot. And, you know, because like that's probably the easiest way to get the monetization. I've been doing this Instagram shit for mad long, not benefiting from it. So recently I just got the... Um, I just got the notification that I qualified for the new bonuses for Instagram to get paid for reels and whatnot. So now I will be posting back on Instagram. So go follow us, CWFP underscore. Follow us on TikTok. I think it's CWF Network underscore. And 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 yeah, and the YouTube. Make sure you go subscribe to the YouTube because the YouTube is growing. I just got a new subscriber last night. And, um, you know, it's a slow climb with the subscribers, but the total views is getting crazy. Um, one thing I will say about YouTube, like, you know, I'm starting my own personal, me and the boo are starting our own YouTube channel. I think we, we had our first video edited. We just didn't put it up yet, but that's what we're working on. And, um... That should be lit. But over the past couple of months, I've been trying to really um, dive into my bag as far as, um, you know, how to work YouTube and, and like how to title things and how people click on things. Like it's been something that I've been working on and I'm excited to see the growth that um, that is happening. And let me tell you all something, you all creatives for 2023. I want you to go get a notebook. I want you to go get a calendar. Like those are two things that you should have. I want that to be your calendar for the year. And I want that to be your notebook for the year. Like all new thoughts and whatnot. I have a notebook now. I'm halfway through it. I don't know if I want to go on, like stop using this book and move to a new book. Or if I want to finish out this book. Um, I feel like the book I currently have, I don't know. Like sometimes like I have, I have books and it's just like, oh yeah, like, a lot of shit I wrote down, I got done. Like in this book that I have, like I was kind of lazy from the start and like, it's so sporadic. Like my old notebooks, they literally like will have, um, like I wrote down everything, like notes from books that I was reading and things like that. So I've just read on my horoscope today that, you know, I'm in a little, I feel, I'm feeling like I'm stuck in the mud. But, um, you know, I need to take this time to educate self, to learn more about myself and to read books like that's what the horoscope said. So, you know, I have a couple articles um, and, you know, things that I need to read today. And um, also. One of the things that I do need to get back to is just. um You know, I used to read my business websites every morning, like Inc.com and um, Black Enterprise. I used to go to that and read that and just, you know, make sure I'm reading the business things that are going on just so I can stay ahead of the curve and whatnot. And so I feel like that is something that I need to get back to. Um, I do a good job now of 
avoiding watching content that I'm that I'm that's not really aligned with what I'm trying to do. Like I make sure that I'm clearing my timeline of all the old shit that I used to see and whatnot and you know and then also like what I learned over the years is like I've kind of had to unfollow or like mute some of the people that like kind of do what I do and who I started with around the same time who's kind of like elevating um it's not that like I don't want to see the elevation but I don't want to get caught up in the position of like we start at the same time why why them not me and I normally don't get into feelings like that but you know when your life is you know a little different from what it what you're normally used to and you know you start seeing people thriving you see this person get a new job you see this person get a new job and it's just like okay cool like you can sit up there and be like okay like I can see them getting a new job but I'm actually doing the work and applying and things like that. And I'm just waiting like, bro, where's my opportunity? Like, does no one see like the shit? Like the proof is in the pudding. Like I have, it's here. Like all, you can go back and listen to all eight years of everything that I've done, the progress that I've done, you know, you can see it all. And so I just try not to get caught up in looking at other people and I try to use my experience with running track you know when you run a race you do not look to the side like even though you want to see what your competitor is doing you keep looking forward to the finish line and that is exactly what I'm trying to do I'm just trying to make sure that I show up and that I'm ready for the opportunity when it presents himself because listen it just is what it is and when you're a creative like it's just especially see the thing is over the years, I've learned how to be a creative second and be a business person first. And I remember the years of me feeling like this when I was creative led. And that is not the best feeling because you sit there and you're just like, why me? I know my stuff is creative. Like when I had my clothing line, like I knew my stuff was good. Like I am clearly because I, I was in several magazines. I mean, I was in Vogue and whatnot. I knew it was good, but it was just like, why doesn't no one else around me see this, like, see this thing? And uh, I was doing everything from emailing everybody, and there were so many opportunities where it was like, okay, Mush, like, we're looking at you for this TV show, we're looking at you for this reality show, we're looking at you for this, and then, like, nothing would come from it, and I'd just be like, bruh. But then, you know, the older wise head in me sits there and just be like, you wasn't ready for that opportunity at that time. Like, you wasn't ready. And I know that now looking back at situations where I felt like I deserved that opportunity. But in all actuality, whether it was being able to handle the money that would come with that role at that young age in the party state that I was in, you know, just being caught up in dumbness and all of that. So... I'm appreciative for my journey. I want to end all that to say that, like, everything that I've been through is just been like, okay, cool. Like, I'm definitely the, you know, roll with the punches type of guy. And I'm rolling with the Mike Tyson punches right now. But the thing that I'm not letting up on is being able to put out good content and, you know, to put out the things that I want to put out. So hence the reason why I am here for Podmas. So I really hope that you enjoyed my little rant slash creative conversation that I had. If you have a creative friend who may be in the same route, throw them to this episode and let them know that you ain't the only one out here, bro, or sis. Like you're not because we all like have a vision that we want to get to. And sometimes like we just got to jump over the hurdles and dodge the, the haters in order to get to that thing. But If you are a true creative who is really true about what you're trying to do, your time is coming. Like, your time is coming, and I'll be able to listen back to this Podmas Day 8 on 2022 and be like, bro, your boy was going through it. Your boy was going through it, but like I said, once all of this is, once I'm back on the greener side of pastures, your boy will be back with the funny stories, and, you know, I'll be here with my stories of how I'm about to dominate Atlanta. Like, that's all I think about. That's all I really think about. But be sure to let me know how you feel and let me know, like, if you can drop some positive words under this video or in the comments somewhere below, go ahead and do that. Like I always say, if you're listening to this on one of the podcast apps, thank you so much. I really do. But please be sure to slide on over to our YouTube CWF Network and go ahead and subscribe, like and comment on the videos, like because that's the little community that we're creating. And, um, you know, even though like. I know people listen to podcasts via 
apps such as that, like I'm trying to get to the point where this is making me the bread. And that is where you go listen <laughs> to make the bread. So thank you for your support. And remember, be sure to tell your story because you never know who's listening. Because guess what? Everybody got a story to tell. And this creative, oh boy, when I tell my story, it's going to be crazy. I'm out. This is the CWF Network where we bring you big content, in small pieces. Follow us on Instagram at CWFP underscore. Okay, bye.